Here is a thinking problem. Measurements of circles. Explain the steps to find circumference of a circle from its area. Find circumference of a circle with area of 706.5 cm square. So I like to have your attention while solving this problem. It is kind of tricky, right? So first we will derive a formula to find circumference from given area, right? As you can see from these formulas, circumference is equals to 2 pi r and area equals to pi r square. So if we are given area, we can find radius. Once we find radius, we can find circumference, right? So step number one is to find radius, right? So first we have to find r radius from given area, right? So that is the first step. So we know area equals to pi r square. Now to isolate r, we need to divide both sides by pi, correct? So what we do is we do a divided by pi equals to pi r square divided by pi. So we divide both sides by pi. So when we do that, pi and pi gets cancelled and we get a over pi equals to r square. So what we get is a over pi equals to r square. But we need r, not its square. To get r, we need to square root it, right? So we do square root of a divided by pi. So once you do square root of a divided by pi, you get the value of r, right? So now you got the r value. Once you have value of r, then step number two, and that is calculate circumference using <coughs> circumference equals to 2 pi r, right? So we have now r as square root of a over pi. So we can write this as 2 times pi, the square root of a divided by pi, correct? So that is how we can calculate, right? This can also be reduced as 2 times square root of a pi, right? For grade 8 level student, I will not go there, right? I'll just stop here. Now, it's good to do numbers. It is easier to work with numbers. And let me show you how to do a problem using this formula. So we will do our question. The question here is find circumference of a circle with area of 706.5 centimeters square. So let's try to solve this question, right? It's easier to work with numbers, right? So here is our solution. Let me just draw a line here and show you some work in this area. So we are given area of 706.5. So area is pi r square. So we'll write 706.5 equals to pi r square. Pi is 3.14 r square, correct? Now, to find r, we need to divide both sides by 3.14. So we divide by 3.14. Look into the steps which we did earlier, right? So we are following the same steps. Let me just show it like this. So step number one, right? Area, which is 706.5 equals to 3.14 r square. Then step number two, divide by pi on both sides. The value of pi is 3.14. So we divide by 3.14 on both the sides, correct? Now let's calculate using calculator. So we get 706.5 divided by 3.14 we get 225 so we get 225 equals to r square now what is r so we got r square equals to area divided by pi right so area is 706.5 and the pi value is 3.14 now to get r we need to square root it right so we get r equals to square root of 225 and if you do square root 
of 225, what do you get? You get 15. So you get 15 equals to R. So our value of R is 15, right? So for a circle with area of 706, we can calculate radius as 15. Now to find circumference, we'll use this formula. So circumference is 2 times pi r, which is pi value is 3.14, 3.14, and the radius we found is 15. So we'll plug in 15 here, and we can calculate our answer, which is 2 times 3.14 times 15, and that is equal to 94.2. So we get 94.2, right? Since the units for area is centimeter square, our units for circumference will be centimeter, right? And therefore, we can write down our answer as circumference C is equal to 94.2 centimeter, correct? I hope you understand this. Let me show you once again. How did we do this, right? So first step we did was we wrote area equals to pi r square area is given to us as 706.5. So we did 706.5 equals to 3.14 r square. Now to isolate r, we divided both sides by 3.14 so that this 3.14 and this 3.14 gets cancelled and we can isolate r. So we get r square equals to 706.5 divided by 3.14 which gives us 225. So r square is 225. Square root of 225 is 15. So r is 15. So radius of the circle is 15. So that is how you find radius from given area. Now once you know the radius, then you can find the circumference. Using the formula, circumference equals to 2 pi r, right? 2 times 3.14 times 15 which is the radius. And once you multiply all this, you get 94.2 centimeters, correct? Now, you can check your answer using one of these formulas. So that is an exercise for you. So what are you going to do here is, straight away, you can calculate C by using these formulas, one of these. 2 times 3.14 square root of area, which is 706.5, divided by 3.14. See what do you get? Okay, do you get the same answer? Or you can even apply this formula. 2 times square root of A multiplied by 3.14. You see that? So, you will find the same answer. Let's check it. So, if you do 2 square root, then do within brackets, area is 706 Point five times pi, which is 3.14, bracket close, and now say equal to, you get 94.2, exactly the same answer. Therefore, this relation works, right? So, in short, we can write down our relation, and that is, if area is given to us, then we can find circumference by using this formula. So, let me write down the formula right in the center. That is C equals to 2 times square root of pi times A. Right? Why did I change this? It doesn't really matter. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is also 6. It's better to write pi first since pi is just a number. It may be a irrational number but it's a number, right? So normally you write 2R, right? R is kind of a variable, right? So, that is a better way of writing. So, you can find circumference by using this formula 2 times square root of pi A. But remember, within square root, you have to multiply these two first, then take square root, and then multiply by 2 to get the right answer. Perfect. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.